And so, just as a confident, a, a compliment, a praise, is not the, the cure for criticism. You can't work for it. It doesn't work. You're just as much caught up with the praise and a slave of it. So, health food isn't the cure for original sin, the way you eat. Because in food, through the generations, look, I'll give you a story. It's my favorite story. It was when I um, saw my mother do something. Well, it was almost dinner time, so I reached for an apple and I started to eat it. And all of a sudden, a hand comes along and takes the ha apple out of my hand. So this is not dinner. It is. So she takes a little thing that takes the core out of the apple. She fills it full of raisins. She sprinkles cinnamon and sugar on it and puts it in the oven. And she, she cooks it and, and there's this concoction she puts in front of me. I have the hand of what, the God. I said, this is meal. She's actually interfered with God's nourishment. She's put herself in it, and you eat it. And what happens? You're eating part of the, she's ex the extension. In food has a curse in it. Is it because she wanted to make it better? No, no, it's not because she wanted to make it better. Okay. She, uh, she's, un she's unconscious. She does not know what she does. Every woman, these food shows, <laughs> chef, you know, guru boy ID. <laughs> you know, these food shows are for women, sometimes men who are their own mothers. You know, you ever see one man cooking his meal and singing? He's his own mother. You can be your own, you can be your own man too. See, but it's because the women have a way of getting to a man through food and sex. The next thing is sex. First, the original sin. First, the food, and then he looks down and sees he's naked. Oh dear, embarrassment. And he says, "I'll take care of that." See, yeah, so it's what it's original sense. sin. By trying to make it better, it wasn't that you're trying to make it better, but like, no. I can make this better. Yeah, no. Yeah. You, can't make it, you can't make an apple better than an apple. Can you? You can only make it worse. But it looks better. It, it, it has more taste. It has more flavor. And, and then the appreciation goes to the cook. All right. All right. So that's, we don't want appreciation to go to the cook. So that's what I mean. It's a way of puffing... Yeah. You don't want your to arouse mom, a person. Her up. You, 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 if you watch me eat, I just eat a little porridge, raw grains. I eat some salad, a lightly cooked fish. I'd eat the fish raw and I'd eat the meat raw if it wasn't contaminated the way it is. I can do all that. I could eat raw eggs. There's no problem with meat, anything raw. I'd eat you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look healthy enough, though. <laughs> You never know. I'm a good cook. <laughs> I, can make anything taste good. I can make anything better. No, the thing is, the, um, the point I'm making is food, health food, even if it's health food, even if you eat apples off the tree now, it's called food. And even though if you eat health food, never mind mother's food and all the fancy stuff, even if you were to go on a health food diet, it doesn't cure the sin. It's repentance. See, it's the understanding that when, because look how many fat people there are. See, overweight. What it is, they think that it's like a drug. Food has become a drug because there's a, there is a mystery to the, the, the original sin. It's, it, it's the suggestion, the suggestion is incorporated into the food. So that whatever you eat, whether it's raw food or it's health food, it will not cure you. It will make you healthier physically, of course. But the idea that you could live forever, and that this, or you could live a lot longer and become a better human being by eating 
that you can find salvation in it, the cure of disease. And I'm not saying that that kind of food is not better than other. It is better. Of course it is. Because you live lo- we will live longer, but you've got to bis- be disabused of the idea that it can save you. It's the manner in which you eat the food. It's, the, it's where the food goes to. It's the reason, in other words, the reason for your life has to change before anything you do will, will, will go to the right spot. If you eat, if you have the right, if you have, if you sit quietly and you give yourself over to your creator, whatever, and that's not an easy thing to, to understand yet, uh, we'll go to, through that in just a little while. But if you could find, and some of you haven't yet, as you wouldn't be here, see? You haven't really found it yet. It's so simple. It's hard. It's, it's absolutely zero. It's learning to do nothing right. I have a saying, if you do nothing right, you will do nothing wrong. It's impossible. You can spill milk, but that's not a sin. You can forget an appointment. That's not a sin. But whatever sin is, is to do everything for, for the wrong reason. But, but f- color it as if it was the right reason. So you're eating good food. Well, you see, you believe that good food will make you a good person. See, it will help you solve your... Well, of course it will. And it will. It, all this will work. If you get all your ducks in a row, if you eat the right food, if you drink the right drink, if you have sex the right way, if you learn to speak up for yourself in the right way and not the wrong way, if you learn to listen in the right way and learn to take correction and not come back too quick when somebody points things, something out to you when, when, when you should listen to it and you close it out of your mind like the gentleman just walked out a little while ago. There you, he's, he's gone. See, it's, it's too painful for him. See, unless he's got constipation or took Axelex last night. He's... <laughs> There could be another oh, reason. Yeah, that. <laughs> you know, come on down, come on down, there. come on down the front. It's too far. You're too far. <laughs> no, there you are. There. <laughs> oh, you move, move. You need to be up front here. Okay, I'm starting to wake up now. Uh, that's no excuse. Uh, yeah. And then my buddy was sawing logs all the la- night long and had to figure out how to wake him up. And so, you know, there is such a thing as being rummy in the morning. No, not me. Well, you, you don't tell the truth all the time, right? I do. No, no, I no. don't believe you. Yeah. But I do believe many no, of the I things that No, sometimes I withhold the truth. I sometimes withhold it. I don't say it because it's not appropriate. I don't always I don't always tell the truth, of course. I just don't tell it. See? Now where was I? You were rummy. Yes, I'm feeling good. I went outside, took a little walk and watched some squirrels or otters play back there and I'm starting to come alive. So I feel like I might be able to engage a little better today. Okay, well. What have you learned so far? Nothing. No, I've okay, I I don't want to agree with that, but you can I've that's a beautiful thing. You can, the way to do nothing wrong is to do nothing right. No, no, he's got it backwards. Well, I'm a backwards if, man. If, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how if, I start. <laughs> if, look, let's get to it then. Let's get to the point. Um, would you like, let me see if I could find somebody. Who has a real serious problem with Anxiety and who has, who's who's really bad off here that needs a little help right this minute? 